Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, the word for you and me for today as we read from the Genesis 32 verse 24 to 28. And as we meditate on this word, we pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will lead us and guide us and bless us. Amen. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the break of day. And he said, As a prince, hast thou power with God, and hast prevailed. Genesis 32, as we read from 24 to 28. If you saw one of the intimates of the king on his knees, you would marvel at the sight. Look, he is the audience in the audience chamber. He has a seat set for him among the peers. He is set down, set down among the old nobility of the empire. The king will not put on his signet ring to the seal to seal a command till his friend has been heard. Yes, beloved. The king will not put on a signet ring to seal a command till his friend has been heard. Command me, the king says to him. Ask of me, he says, for the things of my sons. Command the things to come concerning them. And as if that were not enough. The man of all prayer is still on his knees. He is wrestling there. There is no enemy that I can see. Yet he wrestles like a mighty man. What is he doing with such a struggle? Doing? Do you not know what he is doing? He is moving heaven and earth. He is casting the mountains and that into the midst of the sea. He is casting down thrones. He is also the mighty God. Yes, he is a living God. Yes, beloved. The omnipotent God reigns. Yes, the words are true as we read in Revelation. Yes, 19 verse 6. And the beautiful word as we always love to read this word, all of us like this word is from Genesis 32 verses 24 to 28. Yes, as Jacob wrestled with God and man. Yes, and the word says that he prevailed and his name was no longer Jacob but Israel. Yes, beloved, today we are Israel. We are the prince with God. Yes, we are the daughters of Zion, prince with God. We are the ambassadors of God, children of God and friends of God. Yes, beloved. Our mighty God is the maker of heaven and earth. To him belongs all power and authority. As we read in Matthew 28, even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Yes, beloved. As he is the maker of heaven and earth, he is a loving father. As we read in Isaiah 62, 63, 64. Yes, beloved. And we are his clay and he is our potter. Isaiah 64, verse 8. Whatever is your request today, my dear brother, my dear sister, go in the presence of Lord Jesus Christ and put your request to him. He will take care of you. He will provide all your needs and he will bless you. Yes, the words are true. He will take care of us. Yes, he will be our Emmanuel, God with us. Ebenezer, God will help us. He will be our Yahweh Ire, God will provide. Yes, beloved. He will take care of our every need and also our every request will be answered. As we surrender ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ, the word says, Zechariah 1.3, Return to me and I will return to you. The words are true, beloved. The word says in Proverbs 8, verse 17 to 21, as we read the mighty word, it is speaking, Yes, I love those who love me and also those who seek me diligently will find me. Seek the living God diligently, beloved. For he is the God of the living, not the dead, and all live to him, as we read in Luke chapter 20, verse 38. Yes, and he will fill us with joy, with happiness, with peace. Yes, the words are true. 
for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Nehemiah 8.10 The words are true for us to live as Christ and die as gain. Philippians 1.21 And my God will provide all your needs in the glorious riches of Yeshua Messiah. Philippians 4 verse 19 Remember, beloved, when God is with us, who can be against us? The words are true. A mighty God is there with us. He will take care of us. He will lead us, guide us, help us, counsel and watch over us. Psalm 32 verse 8. As we wake up in the morning, we see the birds chirping, isn't it? Yes, as we see the mighty God, our Emmanuel is there with us. He is a banner. He is a Asian sea. As we read in Isaiah 11 verse 10, also he will bless us with wisdom. The wisdom, the joy, the happiness. These things cannot be purchased with millions of dollars also, isn't it? It is a free gift to you and to me. The word says Matthew 7 verse 8, Ask and ye shall receive. The words are true, beloved. Yes, let us ask whatever our request is there for today, for it shall be given. Yes, beloved. We have to only believe. Mark 5 verse 36, I am his witness. I want you also to taste and see. The Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. The words are true as we read in Psalm 34. Yes, beloved. So, what do we have to do now? As we surrender ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ, we are a new creation. Let us grow in the word of God. Let us meditate on the word of God. For when we meditate on the word of God, we will have wealth, richness in a house. Psalm 112 verse 3. Yes, and when we serve him, we will be honored by God. As the word says, beloved, yes, God will honor us. And also the word says, when we fear him, we will have Blessings, yes, the words are true. As we read in Proverbs 28, verse 25, when we fear him, we will have prosperity. Yes, beloved, let us receive the blessings. As the word says, he is the omnipotent God who reigns. Yes, Revelation 19, verse 6, he is a salvation. Revelation 7, verse 10, and he will wipe away our every tear. He will lead us to the living waters and also he will be our shepherd. The words are true. Revelation 7 verse 17. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. The words are true as we read the mighty word, beloved. Psalm 23 verse 1. Yes. So, we have to grow in the word. That is, we have to meditate on the word of God. Read the Bible at least half an hour from the 24 hours. Take a particular place. Jesus Christ will speak to you, beloved. I and my father are one. The word says in John 10 verse 30. The words are true and he will not leave us as orphans. The words are true as we read the mighty word. John 14 verse 18. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. John 14 verse 6. Yes, and he is a morning star. He is our Alpha and Omega. Yes, as we read in Revelation 1 verse 8. Five times in the book of Revelation we will read he is our Alpha and Omega. As Revelation 1 3 says, as the word is saying, when we meditate on the word of God, when we read the word and he who hears, he who reads, both of them are blessed. So let us grab the blessings, beloved. There is no feast, there is no sacrifice, there is no kind of any rules that we have to pay anything. No, it is freely been given to everyone, everyone who asks. As we read in Matthew 7 verse 8, the word says in Mark 11 verse 24, when we ask in prayer, when we ask, we have to believe we have received it and it shall be given. The words are true, beloved. Yes, for there is nothing impossible for a mighty God. As we read in Matthew 19, 26, Luke 1, 37, hallelujah. The words are true, hallelujah. Yes, we have to be encouraged. We have to be strong, bold and courageous. Yes, for he will never leave us nor forsake us. The words are true as we read in Deuteronomy 31, Verse 6, the words are true, beloved. Yes, heavens and earth shall pass away, but his words will not pass away. Matthew 24, 35. Yes, and he is the same yesterday, today and forever. As we read the mighty word from Hebrews 13, verse we read in 8. Yes, beloved, every word is true. So be encouraged and also pray and fast if required. As we read in Ezra 8, verse 23, the word says, we fasted and we entreated our God and he answered our prayer. The words are true, beloved. 
The word says in Micah 7, 7, I will look to the Lord, I will wait for him, and he will answer my prayer. The words are true. Yes, for the word says to you and to me, yes, in return and rest shall be your safety. Yes, the words are true, beloved, and confidence and quietness shall be your strength. The words are true as we read in Isaiah 30, verse 15. Yes, so seize the day, be victorious in life. You and me are in this world. God has a plan. Yes, and also the word says, God is speaking to you and to me. You are mine. What a love, yes, of a living God. Isaiah 43, verse 1. The word says, every curse will be turned into a blessing for you and me. As we read in Deuteronomy 23, verse 5. The words are true. Yes, the word says, O taste and see, the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. The words are true as we read in Psalm 34, verse 8. And those who look to him are radiant, and their faces are never covered with shame. Psalm 34, verse 4. The words are true, beloved. For the angel of the Lord encampeth around those that fear him, and he delivers them. Psalm 34, verse 7. Yes. So, also, always say, Thy will be done. John 6, verse 38. Yes. Let us be encouraged. Let us be blessed. Let us seize the day. And also, let us be filled with the power of Holy Spirit. For when we ask the Holy Spirit, we will receive it. It has been given to us as a guide, as a helper. And let us wear the armor of God, beloved. Yes, as the devil is prowling outside, resist the devil and he will flee from you. As we read in James 4, verse 7, wear the armor of God as we start our day. Yes, that is the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the Old Testament, New Testament, King James Version Bible, and the shoes or sandals of gospel of peace. As we read in Ephesians 6, verse 11, yes, beloved, everything is there for you and me. Yes, and we are not an ordinary people. We are the prince, yes, we are the prince with God as we read the word from Genesis 32, verse 24, 28, yes. And God will provide all our needs. Genesis 22, verse 14, the words are true, beloved. God will provide, Yahweh ire, yes. The same word in Genesis 22, verse 8, yes. Whatever is your request today, my dear brother, my dear sister, whether it is for the financial crisis breakthrough, Yes, whether it is for your business, whether it is for your peace in home, whether it is for your personal problem, whether it is for healing, whether it is for the education of the children or any requirement of house or finance, Jesus Christ will provide you all your needs. We have to only believe Mark 5 verse 36 and be blessed today and every day. We have the guide, the Holy Spirit with us, which has been given to us, beloved. Ask for the gifts and the fruits of Holy Spirit. Galatians 5.22 Peace, love, joy, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, mercifulness, patience and self-control. And also, as we read in 1 Corinthians 12.9, we have the gifts of Holy Spirit. That is the wisdom, knowledge, the faithfulness, the gift of Holy Spirit to prophecy, to interpret, to speak in tongues, to heal in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, to be faithful to Him and also to walk in this way. Yes, all these gifts are freely been given, beloved. Yes, read the Bible and be blessed today and every day. Arise and shine is a message for you and me as we read the mighty word. Yes, from Isaiah 60 verse 1. Do like and subscribe the channel Arise and Shine, Alfred, Rathod and Family USA. Yes, for all your prayer requests, do send us an email. The email ID is given in the description and also for as the God is leading you you can send us the tithes and also the thanks offering free will offering the link is given in the description yes for remember a mighty God will bless us abundantly not meagerly abundantly as we read in Psalm 38 verse 6 and always say thy will be done John 6 verse 38 for trust the Lord at all times the words are true as we read in Psalm 62, verse 8. Yes, beloved, there will be showers of blessing in your house and my house. As we read in Ezekiel 34, verse 26. The words are true, beloved. And remember, there are miles of angels surrounding you and me. As we read in Psalm 68, verse 18. 
So let us bless his name, for he daily loads us with benefits. Psalm 68 verse 19. As the, as the birds are praising a living God in the morning, they are such tiny creatures. We are much more than that. Let us praise him and thank him and be faithful to him. Yes, beloved. For he's loved us even before we loved him. Yes, beloved. He's loved us with everlasting love. Jeremiah 31 verse 3. Yes. So seize the day. Be victorious in life. Be blessed and never give up. For the word says in Deuteronomy 21 verse 31. Yes. As we read the mighty word in Proverbs 21 verse 31. It says victory rests with a mighty God. Yes, beloved. And Deuteronomy 23 verse 5. The words are true. Every curse will be turned into a blessing for you and me. For the word is spirit. The word is life. The words are true, beloved. As we read in John 6, verse 63. The word is fire. The word is hammer. As we read in Jeremiah 23, 29. And a mighty God is a God of righteousness. He is the wonderful counselor. He is our everlasting father. The prince of peace. Yes, he is a mighty God. As we read in Isaiah 9, verse 6. Yes, everything is for you and me, beloved. Seize the day, be victorious, be blessed today and every day. Yes, beloved, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Be blessed today and every day. Also, we pray that all those who are in the sick bed, Jesus Christ, heal them. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, we pray all be touched and healed. Yes, for there is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, for every power and authority belongs to our living God, Jesus Christ. Yes, as we read in Matthew 28. Yes, so we bless it today and every day. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 to 27. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.